Big Z Reviews. Rebecca Martinson is, I think, a Swedish uh, mystery show about this uh, lawyer who goes back to her small hometown uh, after her, like, someone that raised her as a mother is mysteriously dead. And she has, wants to figure things out. And then once she's there, she, like, she has a breakdown. And then she, but she decides to stay there and become, like, the prosecutor there, essentially. And, I mean, this is, um, it's on Acorn TV if, if for the worldwide audience. And the first season, I think, is, is really good. I really like the actress that plays Rebecca Martinson, Ida Engvall. Like, she is gorgeous. But then she also has this, like, every every scene with her, like, you you feel like she's on the verge of complete breakdown. Like, like she plays that character really well. Like, she's emotional wreck. You know, but she, like, and, and, and it is, this show is dark at times. And, but, um, the, the weirdest thing is that this is, that was released in 2017. And the new season, season two, was just released in 2020. And... All the characters are the same, except for the name of the show, Rebecca Martinson. You know, that she, that's played by someone new, uh, Sasha Zacharias. And she, it, she isn't as good. Like, I mean, it's, it's just odd. Like, I, I assume, I don't know, I tried to look it up for what happened, and there really wasn't any reason for why. I assume, I don't know, maybe she didn't want to do another season. So that's why there was, like, a three-year break. So they just got her, like, this other woman, who was actually, like, one of the potential uh, murderers in, in the last two episodes. And, like, it's kind of, I like how they do this, like, every two episodes is, like, a new case. I like that sometimes when a whole season can be one, one murder or whatever, it can get dragged out too much. But when the show, like, one show is one murder, it can be a little too short. So I like that two-episode uh, mystery. But, you know, the new woman, Sasha, as Rebecca Martinson, she is not on the edge as nowhere near the other one. And she's also kind of just plain looking a little. Like, she's not ugly at all, but she's just... Something about her is just plain. I think I almost wonder if that, because I'm comparing her to the other woman, you know, which isn't really fair. But, I mean, the other woman did so... It was so amazing as this character. That it's just, how can you not compare the two? Sometimes I hand that feature. I was not so much a hot shot in Stockholm. I stood with my father and my mother. Mama took leave of us. You're back. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it. I thought you'd be able to come back to the house here. This is my home. You can't let it go. What? You're going to let it go. Yes, it is. I'm going to do it again. Also, I found like in this kind of in the first scene, there's like a uh, like a love interest with a uh, Christer Erickson played by uh, Jacob Oman, and uh, like they're all the characters are the same in the second season. So he's there too, but he's kind of like a real asshole for for most of the second season. But but I mean, still, I, the mysteries are good. But again, they're dark, and for a lot of them, they're I think the most disturbing parts of the show. And the reason I, I Almost didn't want to watch it if if the mysteries weren't so good. Is that they're very cavalier with dog murder, like I mean, like and and animal murder in general, and depicting it and showing it in gruesome detail, especially dog murder. Like there's at least three dogs are murdered in the two seasons of the show, and one's murdered by Rebecca Martinson. And it's just brutal. Like, if, if most of the other dogs, like, you don't get to know them. So it's not, like, that horrible. So this mystery, this this person is, as you find out, is actually the, the murderer. And they're going after this kid. And she's and the kid is with Rebecca Marnson. And the, also the dog is with them. And the dog, like, the person is calling the dog. And the dog, like, wants to, is barking. And Rebecca, like... You know, tries to quiet it, but it's still kind of whimpering. And then she bashes the dog's brain in with a rock. And it's like, Jesus, just knock it out. Or not, don't bash his brains in and then show it to us. And it's like, why would you do that? Like, it really bothered me. 
But it's like it's like they don't care. I don't know. They have a different viewpoint of dogs. And then they introduce a new dog. Like, better not kill that freaking dog. And it's like, I don't know. And then it's like, it's, I don't know. It's very cavalier about it. And it's a big turnoff. But at the same time, like, if there were the third season, I would watch it. Because it's, the mysteries are really interesting. Again, they, a lot of some of the mysteries are dark, though. You know, it's a very, it's a very dark show at times. But it's very well written and it's very well acted by everybody. You know, it's, 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 it's. It's definitely, it's, it's a little bit tougher to recommend, but it is a very interesting show that if you like mysteries and if you don't mind reading subtitles, it's, it's good. But it's just, there's definitely some flaws to it. I'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10. But uh, thanks for watching. You should have a video playlist on my head and this guy from Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z TV show review. Thanks for watching.